Hi, I'm Mehdi Modestini, and this is Yoga on the Inside. I'm going to just share a very short video on a pose that we call Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. It's tremendous for integrating the entire body. It opens the shoulders and the pelvis, and it's a very, very important pose in yoga because in most of vinyasa yoga, it's used as the transition. So you repeat it over and over and over again. So here is downward facing dog. So you start on your mat with your hands under your shoulders and you study your hands initially. You point each fingernail straight up toward the ceiling and you might find that that's perplexing because one finger rolls to the right and tilts that way and the other to the left. So try to organize all your fingertips so the fingernails point straight up. And then take your knees back so they're under your sitting bones more than under your navel. From here, you inhale, you lift your head, draw your shoulders back, lift the buttocks, and then keeping the head up for a moment, you straighten the legs and you start pressing into the hands and you see if you can push your hands so much that you keep going back away from them and the arms straighten completely. With, you could see my knees are still bent so that I can contract my lower back and keep my sitting bones up toward the ceiling. This approach to downward facing dog is extremely strengthening for the lower back band that causes many of us a tremendous amount of pain and anxiety in our days. Once your back is strong and straight, then you can take and lift and push on your legs as long as the lower back band stays in. If the lower back band starts to pop out like this, then your legs have become too straight. So you re-bend the legs, press the buttocks up, press the sitting bones up, and stretch the arms as much as you can. Let your head hang and breathe. If you want to try to straighten your legs again, go ahead. You push them. Keep the buttocks rising. Keep the lower back contracting. And if you could straighten your legs all the way over time with the lower back in, then you can do so. Press the legs back as much as you can. Press the arms forward as much as you can. From here, inhale. Exhale, come down to pose of a child. So you touch your big toes together, you separate your knees, and you place your forehead on your mat, and rest your arms. Breathe. Just rest. Even just a few minutes of downward dog can be stressful. So I know it's just a short video. You only stayed in downward dog about four minutes, but it's such a tremendous pose and it has so many benefits for you. So I hope you enjoyed that and keep visiting us here on Yoga on the Inside.